Okay, welcome guys. This is our next episode, how to set up a Solana wallet. Uh, so yeah, at the first episode, just a quick recap, we took a look at uh, the exchanges, how to uh, buy our soul and how to withdraw our soul. Uh, you might need to um, make this um, step first, so yeah, let's run through it on how to set up a Solana wallet. It's quite straightforward. Um, we will take a look at uh, what wallet um, we actually recommend. There are quite a few out there, but we recommend the Phantom wallet um, and I will tell you why in a second. We will take a look at the settings of this fan Phantom wallet and then we will take a look at the basic functions like uh, swapping and transferring. Okay, um, why the Phantom wallet? So um, it comes down to personal preference. Um, there are different ones out there like um, Sol Flare, Phantom and stuff like this. Um, Phantom is quite legit. They have uh, about a million plus users, so they are around, um, yeah, and um, they are pretty um, proven. Uh, as you can see, Brandon is CEO. Um, he's anonymous and uh, pseudonymous, and um, yeah, um, if you take a look at the homepage, we will take a look at the homepage in a couple of seconds. You you see that um, it's quite fun. It's quite a good user experience, and this is why I love Phantom. Um, the the user experience is good. It's legit. It's proven, and um, yeah, you can uh, implement it in basically um, every browser that you can imagine. Um, for now, um, we will take a look at Brave. Brave is um, based on Chrome. And if you would um, never heard about Brave, um, you, it might be worth taking a look at. Um, you get basically paid um, for doing your internet things. They will pay you in the bad token, but that's a different story. So you can get um, Phantom on Chrome, on Brave, Firefox and Edge. And for now, we will just take a look at um, how to set up your Phantom wallet how to do basic functions and um, yeah, we will just set up a real fresh wallet um, from the get-go. We will use Brave, but like I said, it's pretty much similar to what we um, will discover on Chrome because it uses the basic um, yeah, same engine. So yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, we are now over at phantom.app. Phantom, phantom.app is the homepage of the Phantom wallet. Please always make sure that you use the the right URL, you don't want to get scammed and um, I will provide a link in the uh, show notes below so you know where to where to start and it's just um, pretty straightforward, it's a simple web page as you can see. Uh, you can collect your NFTs, you can send and receive, you can swap tokens, all the features you want basically. You can yeah, take a look at what other people are saying about it, you can try it out now, you can take a look at the team and what else. Um, for now we will um, run through it quite quickly. So if you click on add to Chrome, you will get to the following view. We are able to um, add our Phantom Wallet to our um, to our browser. Um, please be sure that it's the right app. Um, it's offered from Phantom.app. It has 350 um, reviews, uh, roughly. It has a million plus users. Please make sure that it's the right one. Um, double check, triple check, whatever you want. Uh, it's it's important. After this, we will click on Add. It gets proven. We need to wait a second, okay, and then we can see Phantom has added uh, to our um, uh, to our browser. And now we will run through the whole setup process, and um, yeah, I will guide you through it. So basically, we will click on Create New Wallet, and um, then you will get a secret recovery phrase. And um, we won't use those words. So um, in case you are hoping that uh, you will get uh, some secret uh, recovery phrase where you will get a uh, my coins in exchange, <laughs> no, 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 no. I will just run you through it. Um, this is really, really important. Um, please um, take a look at different YouTube channels. Um, those uh, words are basically the access to your um, to your balance, to your crypto assets. Um, they are stored on a blockchain and um, by your secret recovery phrase, you basically have access to those coins. So please make sure you write them down write them on a piece of paper, put them somewhere else, grain them in, uh, in stone, whatever you want, but please make sure that never to share those um, secret phrases with um, someone you don't trust. So we click on, okay, I saved it now. We will copy it first and then we will click on, okay, I saved it uh, somewhere. And then we need to um, put in a password. I will just put in a pretty simple password so we can proceed. Then we will agree to the terms, we save it. Uh, then okay, they will give us a quick um, heads up uh, what short ups we can use, just click on continue and then we basically then we click on finish. Okay, now that it's installed, we will access uh, our um, Phantom Wallet, it's super straightforward. We just click on the small puzzle piece, we just click on the pin and then we can see that the, that, that the Phantom icon gets shown around here. 
we just click on the phantom icon and then the um, wallet gets uh, gets opened up and now we can uh, take a look at uh, what's actually possible over here. Um, at first let's run through the settings. The settings are quite simple. We just can name the wallet however we want to. Um, let's just say for example phantom um, egg one. So we uh, call it phantom egg one. As you can see this is our address. Uh, we can copy it to clipboard and pa paste it somewhere. So we see how, how all address. So I do recommend that you name your wallet in a in a way that makes sense for you, I usually go by phantom account number, so account number one for example, because if you are um, in the need to pay your taxes, it's uh, really good um, if you um, know exactly what uh, wallet has what name, you, you, so you get a better overview. So after naming your wallet, you can uh, take a look at the display languages, for now we will stick to English. Uh, you can add different addresses if you want to um, basically have a shortcut to addresses. Um, on trusted apps, you see basically the apps that you trusted. So let, let's say, for example, we would head over to an, an dApp. So a, a dApp is a decentralized application. We will head over to, let's say, Jupyter Aggregator, for example, because you want to make a swap. In this case, we need to connect to Jupyter Aggregator and they want to access our address and they want to send us a request um, to approve basically their transactions. So we would see them here so we can uh, delete and um, add different apps that we want to trust and that we want to interact with. And we can change our password, absolutely, we won't do this for now. Uh, we can set up an auto lock timer and the change network part is quite interesting. So um, the uh, mainnet beta is usually what you want to be connected at. So it's called mainnet beta because Solana is uh, um, in the beta phase right now. They have multiple billions locked in inside of it, but uh, yeah, I guess they will want to call it beta because uh, yeah, um, always been a beta phase, right? We can learn this from Google. Uh, so. Uh, people are, aren't that upset with it. And the next one is a DevNet. So Solana is evolving super, super fast right now. And um, you can basically um, take part of different DevNets. Sometimes they will incentivize you by giving you a little bit of their own token. Sometimes they will in incentivize you by giving you an NFT. But for now, we will stick to the mainnet better. And I will show you the functions real quick on how to transfer and how to, and how to um, swap basically your crypto assets. Okay, we headed over to our public wallet. As you can see, um, I would like to show you something um, actually. So uh, if we take a look at the, this is the transactions, we see our recent activities. We can also do some swapping. We could also see our NFTs if we had some, and then we see our whole balance. Just for now, um, I would like to show you how to make a transfer, how to make a swap, and then that's basically it. Um, then you are a master of um, Phantom Wallet. So let's make a swap real quick. We can make the swap via the um, Phantom Wallet itself, but we can use different depths. Um, um, you might be eligible for an airdrop um, if someday um, Phantom um, decides to uh, offer their own token. So um, airdropping is something that you would basically get incentivized for using different um, protocols. And Phantom doesn't have a, uh, have a token right now, but if they would come up with a token, the likelihood that you will actually get some of the tokens because you use the app um, are quite higher in comparison to not using the app at all. So just for now, we will put in point, uh, one soul and we would uh, like to um, exchange this for um, USDC. We can use different ones. We can do um, marinated stake soul, for example. Maybe we do uh, like this. So this is basically a stake version of soul. We will um, explain this in upcoming videos. Then we will review our order. As you can see, there is exchange range. There is a slippage tolerance. And then there's underestimated fees. We will make a quick swap, swapping tokens. Three, two, one, bam, super simple, super fast, close. And as you can see, we now have um, our Solana, our wallet, and also the M Soul. And for the last one, we could also um, transfer those um, Soul. We just click on our Soul, we can deposit, and then we get our um, yeah, QR code or our public wallet address. But we could also click on send, and it's pretty much the same. We can put in an address, whatever we want to, just make sure it's a, it's a real address. Then we can put in the, the, the amount we want to enter. Then we click on next and then we can basically send it. It's super, super simple. So yeah, guys, um, that's it. Like always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can reach us on Discord, provide a comment, um, do whatever you want. We're here to help you. And yeah, um, stay safe, guys. And yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. And uh, yeah, see you in the next episode where we will go deeper into the yield farming actually making money. Take care. Bye.